Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 20 februari 2016. Dit is de bulletin van zaterdag. Today's bulletin as always in weekends will be completely in English. At the end of the bulletin we will have our Morse code words in different speeds and right after that an SSTV image in BW8. But right now we will start with the propagation bulletin of the RSGB in the version of TX Talk. Hello, this is Mike Marsh, G1IAR, and welcome to the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS National News, supplied by the Radio Society of Great Britain and brought to you by TX Factor. And now the propagation report compiled by Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar and Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha on Friday the 19th of February. Well, this week's been a bit of a mixed bag in terms of HF performance at times. 10 metres has been wide open with the 7 Prapper 8 Charlie D expedition to Lesotho putting in an appearance on the bands for hours on Monday and Tuesday. But the high speed solar wind is never far away and that played havoc with geomagnetic conditions later on Tuesday and all day Wednesday with the KP index hitting 6 on both days. The solar wind exceeded 600 kilometers per second at times, causing geomagnetic storming at higher latitudes. Now, this was due to an ongoing coronal hole on the southern hemisphere of the sun, a region within the sun's corona with open magnetic field lines that allow a stream of particles to escape. And this left the HF bands very noisy indeed. Next week, NOAA predicts the solar flux index will be in the range of around 100 to 115, which could spell openings up to 10 metres. The good news is that the K index is predicted to be reasonably settled to all week long. Now, if this turns out to be accurate, we can expect some pretty good DX openings on HF. Finally, don't forget the lower bands. There's been some good openings to Australia and to Asia, reported on 80 metres during the hours of darkness, especially around grey line times. And now the VHF and upwards propagation news. Well, this is another rather poor tropo week coming up, I'm afraid, but one with a possible glimmer of hope in the south around midweek. We start the week with low pressure to the north of Britain and the long-term area of high pressure near the Azores. Well, this makes a cold start to the week with northwesterly winds and some snow showers possible, producing good highly reflective clouds for the gigahertz band scatter modes. Around midweek, a ridge from the Azores High will cross southern Britain to give a brief enhancement, but nothing dramatic. It's unlikely to last, though, because low pressure will return by the end of the week. Surprise, surprise. Watch out for the auroral propagation on the lower VHF bands in the upcoming week, as the sun has been active and produced recent auroral propagation for northerly stations. The seasonally low random meteor rates continue and there's no major showers, so early morning continues to be the best time for random meteor scatter operation. The moon will be up overnight and in the early morning this week and its declination is decreasing. Moon windows will shorten and losses will reach a maximum as the moon reaches apogee. That's its furthest distance away on Saturday. And that's it from the propagation team for another week. The next UK school contact with Tim Peake on the ISS will be with the City of Norwich School on Friday the 26th of February. The 10-minute window opens at 14.34 UTC and the call used will be Golf Bravo 2, Charlie, November, Sierra. A team of nine amateurs, mainly from north of the KRC, have already run two one-and-a-half-hour workshops entitled Making Waves for Students. The workshop started with an introduction into amateur radio and included a showing of the new RSGB youth video. They then ran a circus of five activities covering SSTV, Morse, Waves, APRS and a four-component battery-less crystal set. The following scheduled contact is Powys Combined Schools between the 29th of February and the 6th of March and the exact dates and times are only notified by NASA about 10 days beforehand but they will be publicised via the GB2RS News and on the RSGB website and also social media once available. All school contact transmissions from the ISS can be heard on the usual downlink frequency, which is 145.800 MHz FM.
As announced in the March edition of Radcom, a consultation has opened on the future of the three UK 5 MHz beacons. That's Golf Bravo 3, Romeo Alpha Lima, Golf Bravo 3, Whiskey Echo Sierra, and Golf Bravo 3, Oscar Romeo Kilo. Now, with the completion of the 5 MHz experiment and increasing technical and site difficulties, views on their future and offers of support are sought as part of the consultation exercise. Full details are all available online at forums.thersgb or one word dot org. Look out for this year's 13th Antarctic Activity Week taking place between February the 22nd and the 28th. Complete details and the list of participants is available online at waponline.it and the website will have an updated list with call signs and QSL managers as well and as many as 37 stations could be on the air, conditions permitting. The youth contesting programme of IARU Region 1 will be continued in 2016. Youth members from Region 1 member societies are invited to take part in a contest from so-called Top Gun Stations. They'll learn how to operate the contest station, improve their contest skills and they'll aim for the best results together as a team. A youngster will probably be coming for the first time to the host country and will get the chance to experience this country and share amateur radio knowledge with local youngsters. The contest takes place in May, July and September and full details including information of how to apply are all up online and you can check that out at ham-yota.com forward slash youth hyphen contesting hyphen programme. World Thinking Day is taking place this coming weekend and this is when members of Girl Guiding use amateur radio to try to contact other members throughout the world as part of celebrations of their founders' birthdays. If you hear Thinking Day stations on the air, please give them a call. Over 1,000 members volunteer for the RSGB in a variety of roles. Now, what motivates them and what do they get out of it? Well, find out from the RSGB's brand new video. Go to rsgb.org forward slash volunteer hyphen video to see it on the website, or you can view it on the RSGB YouTube channel. If you'd like an offline copy to show at your club, please get in touch. And in the video, Andy Roberts, Mike Zero, Golf Yankee Kilo, Diana Smith, Mike Six, Foxtrot India Oscar, and Graham Parry, Golf Seven Oscar, Sierra Romeo, explain why they enjoy volunteering at the NRC. So if you've got some spare time and you'd like to help others within the amateur radio community, or you'd like to help shape the future of the hobby, then watch the video, take a look at the volunteering section in the About Us section on the website at rsgb.org and see what inspires you. The long-awaited new episode of TX Factor will be made available on Friday the 26th at 2200 UTC. Features in episode 10 prove that sky really is the limit. There's a visit to Goonhilly Earth Station in Cornwall, a return to the site of Marconi's early test transmissions, and exciting news on TX Factor's upcoming involvement with Tim Peake aboard the ISS. Make sure you're logged in to the TX Factor website to start off your weekend with the only TV show dedicated to all things radio. Check out the website at txfactor.co.uk. Laat jij wel eens een lange break?
Jazeker, ik laat geregeld een lange break. En waarom doe je dat dan? Nou, dat de Echolink gebruikers ook een beetje lucht hebben. Ja, geef de Echolink gebruikers lucht.